So we've just uh, opened up generative components and uh, as you see there are two screens here that popped up. Uh, one is a default uh, top view on your right hand side and uh, the other one uh, contains all the commands and feature list. Uh, we'll get into um, these commands later and uh, are many of them and also descriptions of the feature list but it's just a case of uh, another tool uh, which you use in order to place elements or models within the, the screen. So let's begin and uh, <coughs> in order to do so we have to place a couple of points in space. Uh, if we go up to this first icon here, the yellow square with a diagonal line, select it and immediately you'll see attached to the cursor is this icon. Uh, so let's place one there and second one over here. And, uh, you notice that uh, th there is a description attached there saying point 1 by Cartesian coordinates and the other one uh, is identified as point 2. So somewhere in space there are these two points and uh, uh, we'll use them for placing a line. So in order to place a line we go back into this new transaction file and the second icon here we press that and uh, we turn to the feature type because uh, this is a feature that we're trying to place inside generative components and what we want to do is place a line. Uh, it's simply that, place a line and here it is here and open it up and the method that we'd like to place a line is by points using the two points previously placed in space. So let's try and find out. Here we go, by points and if we open it up it says immediately under property start point and end point. So we go into expression just open it up and uh, hover over uh, point one and you see immediately that uh, it's highlighted. As soon as that cursor gets anywhere near it, it's highlighted. So in order to place a line, uh, we depress the control button, click it, let it go and hover again over point two, depress the control button, hit a data point again, release a control button and go down here and say OK. And immediately uh, you have a line placed in there. Uh, between those two points. Now there's lots that we can do after we've placed that line. Uh, you know, in case you wanted to edit the line, as an example, uh, you go to this edit feature which is uh, identified by a hand and, and a box. So if we click on edit feature and go anywhere near the line that we just placed, then it, it is identified as line 1, um, we can edit it. Um, so that's a very short introduction to uh, generative components and um, gives you an idea of how to begin with it and uh, we'll follow up later with, uh, uh, with other demonstrations uh, to help you through this transition into generative components. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in.